Crypto Vibes, your weekly recap of news of what's happening in the world of crypto and Web3. It's a moving target, and this week is no different. It's just been flooded with news this past week. Every week seems like there's more news. But this is a little bit different episode this week because we're actually having some video. Usually we don't have video. Yeah. And Brandon, you're just going to hear him by voice. Maybe not so much by video, but you will hear his voice occasionally. Because we had a podcast session today, and... Why not? Since we're here in the po- our podcast studio here in Seal Beach, provided by the great people at ADU West Coast, let's do the Crypto Vibes podcast here today too. So this episode is week 25, year 2022, episode 15. I am your host, Neil Alonzo, and helping me today is my co-host from the Fort Brox Crypto Podcast, is Mr. Brandon Heath. Brandon, not Heath. We hope you've had a good week. And before we dive into this week's news, I have to give you some disclosures. We are not financial advisors, wealth managers, lawyers, brokers, or CPAs. We're merely providing information to you that we've cataloged throughout the week so that it makes you a little bit easier to digest everything that's happened in crypto and Web3. So let's just jump into it this week. There's one that leads this one, Brandon. It sucks. So this is the title. Celsius enlists advisors for potential bankruptcy, according to WSJ Report, Wall Street Journal. Per the lending platform's terms of use, clients are not guaranteed the return of their funds if Celsius declares bankruptcy. Fuck us. Shady. Like when you hear of that, fuck me, right? Yeah. Do you curse on this one? Unfortunately, I curse on everything that I'm allowed to. (laughs) (laughs) I don't have to. Yeah, but let's be real. Let's think about it in terms of Eminem, right? Yeah. Will Smith doesn't have to cuss on his records to sell. No. His raps to sell records. I don't know that I do. Yeah, that's true. They're all like tongue in cheek jokes. <laughs> Anyways, so that was the headline for this week. That's crazy that Celsius did that. Yeah, they just got they're not guaranteed out. the return of their funds if Celsius declares bankruptcy. Yeah. What? Pulling a coin base on everybody. Wait, elaborate real quick. What do you mean the coin base? Because coin base came out and said, oh, yeah, and that's said that right as well. And their investors. And that's why they're like, pull everything off the exchanges. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Keeping the ball rolling with some of these headline news. Convert, what is crypto dust on Binance? They just created this whole way, and you tried it actually this yep. afternoon, just where you it. can convert all your crypto dust to BNB. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It's like acorns, but for buying up your some crypto to BNB. I was that's just, a smart move on their part. I was just waiting for it to actually happen because they've had it. With Binance, non-US, and then also KuCoin and most other exchanges that have a native token, they will just allow, allow you, to do, you to do small to convert to their whatever their token is. Okay. Yeah. There you go, baby. We finally got it in the US. Woo. Woo. Solana branches out to hardware development with Web3 mobile phone. The Android-based mobile device will be available in early 2023. The company also introduced Solana Mobile Stack, SMS. An open source software toolkit that allows for the development of native Android Web3 apps on Solana. The fact that its acronym is SMS, for those of you who can't see and who's only listened to this podcast, there was a seriously look. Yeah. SMS. Here's the thing about Solana. The fact that they're having that whale majority issue and now they're coming out with a phone. I, I don't know if they should be dancing in the streets just yet. That's an interesting one. Yeah. All right. So in more news, and we have a link in our show notes, is an infographic around 23 major banks. And they've each made at least one investment in blockchain or crypto linked entities in the cycle from August 2021 through May 2022. Here are some of the biggest ones. These will be in our show note links. But just to run through some of the names, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, BNY Mellon, Commonwealth Bank, Citigroup, UOB. HSBC, Wells Fargo. Holy shit. All of them denied us. <laughs> bank accounts. None, none of them would open up a crypto mining company's bank account. Yeah. But I'll be damned if they won't venture into it. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, my God. But you see these big players getting into it. Hey, man. Might be time to jump in. What's up? Duh. Yeah. No. Duh. Yeah. yeah. We talked about it. Uh, last week, PayPal, or, and the week before, 
PayPal when they got into crypto. So they're allowing you to move your coins to exchanges. Next up is Facebook expanded offering for creators. So this is a post by Mark Zuckerberg and it talks about all the ways that people can make money on Instagram and Facebook as creators. They're, they're launching this whole suite of products for creators and it's pretty cool. They're not gonna take their cut until I believe 2023, but please look through the link in our show notes. But really, at least they're telling you they're gonna take their cut soon. Yeah, you at know? some point. At, yeah. le at least they were more upfront about it than they were the first time in developing all things Facebook. Yeah. But tread lightly. Digital toy platform Cryptoys raises $23 million from A16Z, Dapper Labs, and Mattel. The company recently secured a partnership with toy manufacturing giant Mattel to transform some of its most famous products into playable avatars, which can be sold as NFTs. Cool. Yeah. I like Dapper. I like the idea that they're tying toys with the NFTs because... We were talking a little bit on one of one of our podcasts that if they can if Epic Games had a metaverse or you can transfer between bridges to other metaverses, why wouldn't you be able to have the skin of the toy that you own? Yeah. That's just one idea. Yeah. There I'd want to be a Furby. Which one? Well, I don't know. You'd be a good Furby. You'd be a, a good cool teletubby. One. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, because they make those noise. <laughs> <You know. laughs> that <laughs> I think that's one of them. <laughs> BlockFi Inc.'s $250 million credit deal with FTX to ease liquidity fears. FTX CEO Sam Bankman-Fried says his company takes seriously its duty to protect the digital asset ecosystem. Go, Sammy. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Instead of being like, you sorry. Mean, you trying to be Celsius? Yeah. Dude, it's a hot summer, but it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was so cheesy. <laughs> Crypto lending platform Maple Finance, latest to warn off insufficient cash, quote, amid market turmoil. Shit. DeFi doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> no. Luna. All, you can play with the numbers all you want, but if they don't make sense, they don't make sense. Like It's what we used to tell people. We have a real estate meetup. We have a little over 1,100 members. And we would tell p people, don't drink while running your numbers. Yeah. Because you're looking at your spreadsheet and you're like, oh, I don't need 10% for capital expenditures or 10% for property management. I'll do my own property management. Yeah. Oh, and it's if the numbers don't make sense, yeah. don't try to make them make sense. No. But again, this is going to make better products in the future. It just sucks that humans are involved. Yeah. Anyways. That's um, everybody wants their cut, too. Not true. CoinFlex halts withdrawals amid extreme market conditions. Damn. Just racking them up. Yeah. Huobi. Is it Huobi? What's that exchange? How do you say their name? I don't H -U -O -B -I. know. H-U-O-B-I. Accuses former senior manager of making $5 million via illegal trades. This was on blockworks.co. Oh, no. Yeah, it's just not getting better sometimes for the exchange. It's kind of like that insider trading at OpenSea. Yep. Jesus. All right. Binance.us, zero fee. Bitcoin trading may trigger fee war for exchanges. Yeah. Yeah. There, that's what, We've talked about this before. What's uh, that? Like coins like Nano, XNO, it's their ticker for their coin. Yeah. Like some point, these coins are going to have their day again. Like yeah. these no fee, low fee. I don't know if it's a layer one or layer two, but these coins will have their day in the sun again. These... That's their utility. Yeah. Is there the sheer speed. Speed. And then transactionless fees, basically. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes, I, I totally like agree. Send money anywhere. So like at some point, these coins like that are just going to skyrocket again in value because they are going to be the vehicles that people build their bridges on. It would make sense to. Yeah. Because, for instance, right now we're mining Ethereum, we convert it to Nano. Yep. We have to deal with those gas fees. Yeah, and then give it right to our card partners. So. Yeah, and then they can do what they want with it. Yep. I got you. Binance launch, launches institutional platform for VIP high rollers. Yeah. So if you're a baller, you get your own platform. Whoa. Oh, no. What is it called? Whale? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Moody's downgrades Coinbase debt on profitability concerns. This ain't good. Yeah. The ratings agency has also put the crypto exchange's ratings under review for further downgrade. Now, Moody's, they're in the business of evaluating risk. Yeah. How did they do during 08? Yeah. <laughs> Just the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. Yeah. You know what I mean? Was it Experience in, or Experian, the one that had the data breach? Yeah. Come on. You're supposed to be the purveyor of credit scores and know what you're doing, and you have that big-ass data breach? Yeah. 
You, you, or big. You can't throw stones from glass houses. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just live in Airbnbs. Coinbase launches first crypto derivatives product aimed at retail traders. Derivatives? That's what I said. Coinbase <laughs> Derivatives Exchange hope, hopes to capitalize on a market that is $3 trillion in volume worldwide and provide hedging options for traders. Cool. See, this is the fun thing about doing crypto vibes with you yeah. is that there's there gets to be some banter. It's a little bit fun. back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Leading standards organizations and companies unite to drive open metaverse in operability. Yeah, I, I would know. study up on how to pronounce that. Yeah. So again, this talks about how companies are wanting to create more of standards around metaverse. Yeah. So this is a cool link in our show notes that you should check out because I happen to agree with this. I think there needs to be some standardization of how they get built because then it'll keep things from flash from being developed for the metaverse. Yeah. Because nothing would suck more than a, <laughs> a such a processor heavy tech like Flash yeah. being in the metaverse. My kids already complain enough when Fort, Fortnite has lag. Yeah. Because when you're trying to fight, man, and your shit glitches, come on. Oh, yeah. That's a bad user experience. Man, the <laughs> kids don't even know how good they have it, though. No, they don't, dude. <laughs> I remember playing Diablo 2 on a dial up network, and it's just. Like, oh. Mm-hmm. What was it? Duke Nukem was another one. Yeah, I think you could play on the, be in the Counter Strike. <laughs> yeah, you just got kicked out. Okay, kids won't understand. Oh my gosh, that's a Will Smith song. DJ Jazzy Jeff and Will Smith. Parents just don't understand. But kids don't just don't understand. Yeah, that's the sequel. <laughs> Time Magazine and the Sandbox to rebuild NYC and Metaverse. This is on the Defiant. That's interesting. To what does that mean? They're going to build New York City in a metaverse. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. So here's the thing. Maybe I'll be able to buy property there. They have an upside down version, right? Uh-oh. So you go in one of the sewers where you see Pennywise, and then you get to shoot rats. Oh, no way. And then when you come up on the normal way, all the streets are clean. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. It'll be interesting. I'm curious to see what happens. Yeah. I wonder if they'll have Roberta's. I wonder if they have less skate park. Mm. Damn it. I want to go to New York again. Yeah. For 18 months. Hey, man, I can hit the desk on the Crypto Vibes podcast. Okay. <laughs> crypto miner Bitfarm sells Bitcoin to reduce debt, boost liquidity. Cryptocurrency mining outfit Bitfarms has sold almost half of its Bitcoins, 3,000 BTC worth $62 million over the past week, formally ending its hodling strategy. It says hodling. Yeah. Not holding. No. I know you love that. Shit. All right. <clears throat> mining companies need to be very mindful about the P&L. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. We were going through the numbers today. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's just interesting, like, why you'd have to start selling now and not sell a little bit at the top. Or, if you have a bloated overhead. dollar cost average in, you can dollar cost average out as well. I Hey, man, that's why we're business partners, because we do think alike in certain ways. Yeah. Or we agree. Take your money and run. I think that... Similar to a lot of things that are happening right now with the down market, mining mm-hmm. is really going to get stronger because they're going to understand their P&L even more so mm-hmm. in this time. We yeah. are. We're understanding it more. Yeah. We're working on a value proposition that makes it even more beneficial to both sides. Yeah. But fortunate, we're fortunate. Very fortunate. Electricity used to mine Bitcoin plummets as crypto crisis widens. This was an article on The Guardian. Consumption down by a third since June 11th of this year, with even sharper falls among the other cryptocurrency networks. That's because not as many people are mining. Yeah. It's less profitable. Yeah. So, yeah. we are The hobbyist miners are starting to go first, and then you'll see some of the big guys. The hobbyists are probably more residential, which would be utilizing more electricity than somewhere on more commercial grids. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, this is pretty interesting. (laughs) This is the name. God hates NFTs behind the hundred stage anti-crypto protest. So this was during one of the last conferences, I believe, in New York City. This was on Ad Age. So the hundreds, Bobby hundreds, that clothing line. Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about? No. Oh, you're not a Fairfax kid. No, oh, okay. not. Yeah, this is very much your rip and dip, your diamond, your supreme. Yeah. So the hundreds clothing line, Bobby hundreds, one of the founders, he staged this whole thing <laughs> where it was God hates NFTs because they're launching their NFT line. Yeah, it's basically shock media stuff. Wink, wink. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's yeah. all meant in a sarta- sarcastic, playful tone. I get it. It's not the newest tactic, but it got him a headline. Yeah, and got him on some ad age. So there you go. Oh, why Bill Murray is making Ethereum NFTs about his life? 
So we had this on our TikTok reel and our Instagram reel. But long story short, Bill Murray on July 15th on Coinbase's NFT platform is dropping a thousand NFT with a hundred stories from his career in life. So instead of yeah. doing something like an autobiography, he's doing this compilation of fabled stories that he's had. Like when he first moved here and was staying on John Belushi's couch. Cool. But just all kinds of cool shit because Bill Murray's lived an interesting life. Yeah. His son's leading that charge. Yeah, yeah. But it's supposed to have a private Discord community. If you're a big fan of Bill. Like real world sightings of Bill Murray. Actually real world access to him at certain events. Oh, interesting. Well, yeah. It might just be a meet and greet. I don't know. But we'll see. That's cool. It's Yeah, it's interesting that they're Let's doing it on Coinbase. And if they are going to be three Ether, I believe. Oh. Is their start price. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Doodles NFT announce, announces Pharrell as chief brand officer. Fundraise led by Alexis Ohanian. Alexis is Reddit's founder, also married to one of the Williams sisters, Venus, I believe. I don't know, one of them. But regardless, there's a lot of juice in that headline right there. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got Pharrell, you got Alexis Ohanian. Yeah, there's a lot of juice there. Cool. eBay snaps up NFT marketplace known origin. One of the first NFT marketplaces known origin has generated almost $8 million since launching in 2018. That's not a lot of money. No. But eBay snapped them up because they wanted their tech. Why oh, wouldn't they? Yeah. Their platform? Yep, yep, and then they yep. eBay it? Yeah. I don't think they were doing to PayPal. Known Origin wasn't doing to eBay what PayPal did to eBay whatsoever. Yeah, okay. That, I don't think that. MoonPay Prime's NFT minting service, Hypermint. All right. Good for you guys. You can look this on a blockworks.co article. Uniswap Labs pushes further into NFTs with Genie Acquisition. So mm. Uniswap is now getting into the NFT space. Got it. Okay. Everybody wants their platform, man. Yeah. It'll be interesting to there's see. There's going to be a lot of places to buy shit. Yeah. Then I mean, there's... it'll be a lot. It's a lot like just coins in 2017. Like, you're going to get way more of them, and then they'll slowly get weeded out. But, yeah. You know what? What's going to happen after all these places start building their NFT marketplaces? Yeah. There's going to be an Expedia, Travelocity of NFT marketplaces. Yeah. <laughs> and a price line. Hey. Price Ryan, the grocery aid, or yep, you ever heard that? Yeah, yep. Board Eight Yacht Club and the limitations of NFT ownership. This was a decrypt.co article. It's a good op ed. Should check it out in our show notes. CBDCs, which are central bank digital currencies, not crypto, will be cornerstone of future monetary system. The BIS says you should read this article on CoinDesk.com. But yeah, we're not the biggest fans of central bank digital currencies. Pal says. Oh, Pal sees no macroeconomic implications from Bitcoin price swings, but better regulated framework is still needed. We happen to agree that the regulatory framework is still needed. This is an article on decrypt.co. Wait, to go back. What? I am in favor of a centralized bank crypto. Really? Yeah. Do tell. Because if you look at like the destabilization of or unpegging of USD or UST, okay, that can't happen with a centralized bank currency. Why can't it? Because it's run by the centralized bank. You mean they can't go out of business either and make bad loans? No. Okay, they can get bailed out easier. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you're what you're saying is you want a CBDC stable coin. Yeah, that's but what it would be. Is a stable coin. Yeah. Okay. It would be pegged straight to the dollar and wouldn't move an inch. So you think it would be beneficial to something like oh, a yeah. Raven coin that a CBDC stable coin is what's happening? Anything. Really? Yeah. Damn it. This is a good reason why you're on Crypto Vibes today. Oh, thanks, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Powell says the Federal Reserve is tracking crypto market volatility very closely. Yeah. The Federal Reserve would be tracking that. Yeah. Singapore will crack down on bad crypto behavior per a report. This is on Coindesk.com. Brussels is fledging crypto industry flexes its muscles. It talks about how Brussels is adopting crypto. So mm. this is also on Coindesk.com. And Van Dam or no? Van Dam. <laughs> muscles from Brussels. <laughs> He's so flexible. Yeah, He's so, so buff and flexible. So <laughs> I what was. Bloodsport, dude, Van Dam coin. We should. There will be. A, there's. I'm not. I'm surprised there already isn't. Yeah, there's probably one. Those guys have so much ego. They should. I'm surprised they have their own currency already, like actual fiat. Yeah. <laughs> I could see them with doing the splits across the chairs on one of the dollars. 
ECB president Lagarde, crypto staking and lending must be regulated. Yeah. Okay. This was an article on decrypt.co. Ontario Securities Commission slaps Bybit and KuCoin with penalties. The Canadian regulator said the two exchanges were selling unregistered securities to Ontario residents. Damn. India clarifies crypto taxes as trading volumes crater. CoinSwitch CEO Ashish Singhal told BlockWorks prohibited taxes are likely to unsettle investors. Yes, taxing and crypto, is, they don't go together real well right now. Solana lending protocol faces governance conundrum. This is an article on BlockWorks.co. Solana DeFi platform votes to control whale account in bid to avoid liquidation chaos. So th again, this is categorized in our news as shithouse news. The fact that a whale can overtake the governance yeah. on that platform. They need to fix that. That's a proof of stake. Yep. So this is a real world example of a worst case scenario proof of stake. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they're voting to control it. So because they can do this, uh, is it decentralized? No. Yeah. Anyways. Celsius. I, I don't think Solano was ever decentralized anyway. There you go. Celsius Network pauses AMAs with customers left in the dark over withdrawals. This article came out prior to the bankruptcy article from the Wall Street Journal. Yeah. But Celsius has not yet provided an update on the status of withdrawals from its platform as regulators investigate. Hmm. That was on the 20th of this month. So, damn. Duquan and Terraform Labs slapped with class action suit. Duquan, the heartbroken, quote, co-creator of Terra, headlines a raft of defendants named in class action suit filed Friday in U.S. District Court in Northern California. Quan is joined by a group that includes Terraform Labs, Jump Crypto, and Three Arrows Capital. Plaintiff Nick Patterson is alleging, among other accusations, that Terra tokens were sold as, quoted, unregistered securities, and that the, quote, defendants made a series of false and misleading statements regarding the largest Terra ecosystem digital assets by market cap UST and Luna in order to reduce or, or in order to induce investors into purchasing these digital assets at inflated rates. Shit. Duquan's not, yeah, he's not winning right now. No. Shit. <laughs> Dogecoin worth millions linked to illicit activity, including terrorism. Ooh. A report from blockchain analytics firm Elliptic points to an increasing use of Dogecoin by criminals as payment for illegal activity. That's a headline grabbing thing. And if you're yeah. an analytics firm, you want to be the one that says, we found that. Yeah. U.S. dollar linked to terrorism. How many different, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, we get it. Yeah. It's not good, but yeah. Yeah. Terraform Labs employees barred from leaving South Korea. Ooh. Damn. All right. Ooh, it's getting rough to be a Terra Luna, dude. Yeah. Oh, my what gosh. you get. Terra's yeah. Duquan, quote, there's a difference between failing and running a fraud. This is an yeah. article on decrypt.co. I agree. Yeah, for sure. But the truth is going to be exposed no matter how you slice it. Yeah. That's Charlie Sheen going up in front of a, uh, a judge and saying, no, I don't pay prostitutes for sex. I pay them to leave. <laughs> you know what I mean? I do now. <laughs> yeah. But it's, yeah, the outcome's the same. It doesn't mean that you didn't mean to start a fraud but you did you know what i mean that's true the sec like it wasn't your intent but that's what ended up happening when it comes to money yeah it's not a slap on the wrist it, whether knowingly or unknowingly it doesn't matter yeah when yeah when shit hits the fan it hits the fan when you're dealing with people's money it's not the same as no. let's say tagging a building or something no yeah okay <laughs> celsius woes spark boom in ledger sales the hardware wallet maker at nft.nyc announced a new nft marketplace and a platform to support companies navigating the NFT space. Go Ledger, yeah. Convex Finance sets up new URLs after website address is hijacked. At least five wallets were affected in the front end exploit. No funds on verified contracts were exploited. All right. This is a survey. More than half of Latin Americans have paid with crypto. Latin American consumers are looking for more crypto and digital payments related services, according to a new survey from MasterCard. Cool. Okay. Yeah. When you think about crypto and banking yeah this is what we talked about on a few other podcasts yeah banking system doesn't it's not necessarily the most open for everyone no 
and it would be cur- I'd be interested to see how many of the Latin Americas that they are reviewing, what their status is with banking, yeah, and how that works. Matic jumps as Polygon introduces improved privacy for DAOs. All right. In the last bit of news for this week on Crypto Vibes, Snoop Dogg and M become bored apes in a new music video. The video f- for From the D to the LBC features the hip hop legends Bored Ape Yacht Club profile pics in animated form. Cool. We listened to it before yeah, this. We did. It was pretty good. Yeah, I love Eminem. Yeah, right? I'm a fan. I like yeah. Snoop. I like Snoop too. How can you not like Snoop D O double G? Yeah. Wait a minute. Of course we love Snoop. Yeah. We did a concert with him. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, The Grand sure. Turismo Awards. Yep. Wasn't like the 10th anniversary at the SEMA show? Yeah, I think it was. We did it at the Palms. Was it more than 10? I don't know. I thought it was 10 years. I can. It was 10 years. Okay. I could see the pre- 10 or 15 years. Yeah, it might have been 20. It's years. been a while. I just remember you and I fighting over who was going to go to the bathroom first in the Playboy penthouse because we had that suite yeah. with PlayStation. Yep. Because remember it, when I, it when has I, the floor to ceiling window that overlooks the strip. Yeah. It was pretty awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so we have that shared experience. Yeah, yeah. much love Snoop and M. <laughs> you were having to chase down pizzas at yeah. 2 a.m., 3 a.m.? Something like that. And in Vegas, you would think, oh, it shouldn't be hard to get a pizza. No. Nope. Nobody had a pizza. Yeah. And you had well, a. Well, we were staying at the Rio, so. No, we were staying at the Palms. That's what I mean. <laughs> That's what I mean. I was like, we weren't at the Rio. We were at the Palms. Still the same. we were hosting it in their venue. Yeah. But didn't you end up bribing the staff to make a pizza for them or something? It was like the last order of the pizza, like of night. Yeah. yeah. That night. At room service or something. Yeah. Yeah. And you got it for them. You hooked them up. You're loving Brandon. (laughs) You you do what you got to do. Yeah, after a show. Snoop Dogg. Yeah. And at that time, it was Snoop Lion, too. Yeah. Yeah. We got two and one. (laughs) That was this week's episode of Crypto Vibes, a little bit different. We had a good time. Yeah. Everything that we talked about will be listed in our show notes at CryptoPodcast.xyz. So everything, you see the sources where we got it. But this show is meant to just give you the headlines, talk about it a little bit. And then you can click through our show notes at CryptoPodcast.xyz. Thank you for the guys at Good Soup Music giving us that great song for the intro and outro. In times like these, when crypto is down, we just hope that you're staying true with your crypto and that it's working out for you. Yeah. We hope you have a good rest of the weekend. Diamond hands, baby. 